A patient with a history of Crohn's disease presents with a left-sided flank pain. Which of the following is the most likely underlying cause of this patient's kidney stones? Now, Crohn's disease is going to cause inflammation in the bowel, and it's most commonly going to affect the terminal ileum. Remember that terminal ileum is going to be the site in the small intestine that is going to be responsible for reabsorbing bile acids. So I'm going to write BA for bile acids, and I have TI for terminal ileum. So if we have a decrease in the reabsorption of bile acids due to inflammation in Crohn's disease, then this is going to cause lower levels of bile acids in patients. So remember that bile acids are extremely important for, mal, uh, for absorption of fats. So if we have lower levels of uh, bile acids, then we're going to have a increase in fat accumulation in patients with Crohn's disease because we're not able to absorb fat. So the fat is in return just going to accumulate. Now, we are going to derive calcium and oxalate from our diet. So I'm going to write calcium and oxalate over here. And calcium and oxalate in a healthy, normal bowel are going to form a complex. And this complex is going to be insoluble. And so this is important because then this complex can be excreted out in the feces. So we're going to get calcium and oxalate from our diet and the calcium and oxalate are going to form an insoluble complex, which we're going to be able to excrete out in the feces. Now, in patients with Crohn's disease, because we have this accumulation of fat, calcium, instead of binding to oxalate, it's going to form a complex with fat. So now we're forming a calcium fat complex. And so now this oxalate is all by itself. So this is going to ultimately increase free oxalate in the intestines. And so we're going to get reabsorption of oxalate in the intestines. And ultimately this oxalate is going to travel to the urine where it can then precipitate out and cause stones. So now the answer is going to be answer choice D because there's going to be reduced intestinal calcium oxalate formation. So because the calcium is going to form a complex with fat instead of oxalate, we're going to have a reduction in intestinal calcium oxalate formation. And so oxalate is going to be by itself because calcium is forming a complex with fat, and then it's going to travel to the urine where it can cause stones.